It's going fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Hoosty of the Zion Disguise! Give me a hell yeah! That's what it says. It says Hoosty. How are you, dude? I'm great. How are you guys doing? We're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining today. Uh, for those that may not yeah. know you, sir, or your band, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug or promote anything you'd like. Certainly. Um, my band is Designer Disguise. I'm Husty. I do guitar and I do um, vocals. Um, and then joining us shortly will be Jackson and Josh. Um, what we would like to plug is our new album coming out uh, this next Friday, January 20th. And we're going on tour that same week. So we're, we're fucking stoked. And it's, it's called Elsewhere, correct? Yes, the album is elsewhere. It's a it's a concept album, and elsewhere is like the planet where a lot of the activity takes place. I, I noticed that the spelling on it was very interesting. What what led you to spell it that way? Or in fact, hold on to one of that question. Let's 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 get Jackson in here, and then uh, we'll, we'll I'll simultaneously ask the same question. What's up, Jackson? How are you, sir? Give me a hell yeah! Hey, hell <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah. I was just asking Husi about about elsewhere and why it's spelled the way it is. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. You oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, it's definitely, I think we wanted to go for a, um, like, a, a fantasy vibe. Um, and we wanted to sort of evoke that it was otherworldly because it's a concept space album. Um, and so... We had toyed around with like it just being elsewhere, um, but like Josh is a big reader of fantasy books, and we were like all the sci-fi stuff, and we just felt like the AE, or I felt like the AE, um, really just like got my head in that place of like we are somewhere else, where. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's cool, and it's a unique spelling. So it made me like it made me sit there and think, and I love I love when bands come on and they like make me think, and I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna think about it. why did they spell it that way? But it's cool. It's unique. It's different. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Uh, my my oh, co-host yeah. today is Lizzie. Uh, my buddy Mac Attack is in the chat who helped set this up via email. We appreciate him. We appreciate yeah, yeah. you guys being here. Uh, so you said you're going on tour uh, as soon as the album comes out next week. Uh, Indeed. Where are you most excited about on the tour to play? Like, do you it's have a particular great. date uh, that you've like that you've circled and you're like, man, I can't wait to play this Grand one. Grand Pass is sold out. Um, yeah, Grand Pass is sold out, and it's a small room. But like, honestly, like, I was I, not that I wasn't excited about Grand Pass, but I was like, you know, it's you know down in Southern Oregon, not a ton of people. We played there before to like literally like four people. And now we're actually playing one of the bands that we're playing with was at that show that we played in like 2017 that had four people at this place called King Wa. And um, now it's sold out. And there's people who are driving hours from Northern California or That's some cool. of our friends from Chicago are coming to there. Like, and but like with the get low thing popping off on TikTok, now there's people saying they're coming to each one, you know, and like that a couple months ago, like when I booked it, I was like, I don't know if anyone's coming. But we're going either way. <laughs> that is awesome, man. People are driving far, far and wide to come see the band. That is cool. That's got to be a good feeling. Uh, I have a ton of questions, but before I get carried away, Lizzie, would you like to ask a question or two? Yes. Hello. First of all, Hello. nice to meet you guys. Hi. Hello, Hi. Queen. So this is going to be <laughs> your second album, correct? Yes. It depends on how you measure, how you measure it. Okay. Like, this is our first full length, even though Surface, I think, is considered an album on Spotify. But for us, we can, at least for me, I consider our first album, album. Okay. Um, so Surface was released in 2017. So between then and now, with the release of Elsewhere, um, what were you guys doing? Like, why, what? <laughs> caused the gap i guess like between then you know it's i'm sure covid like, I, i'm sure covid like played a factor yeah yeah mm -hmm. so 
I mean, we did we did release music between. Um, it was just EPs and singles, um, and I think we were just sort of finding our footing in like this market that's like you got to release singles, you got to just like keep putting stuff out. But also, yes, COVID really uh, changed. Like we had the Nowhere EP, and we were literally going to be going on tour, and then COVID hit, and like it was locked down the day that we were going to leave. Wow, um, and so. Yeah, and we have all that merch, and we're bringing it with us. So you can buy that merch, which is still cool. Um, but it definitely, like, I think COVID allowed us to, like, let's slow down and let's make a piece of work that is longer and more intentional and cohesive. Or more intentional um, and cohesive. And, and yeah, so Husty, what, what about you? Uh, I think Josh is <laughs> in the lobby, just by the way. Um, yeah, he's in. He just doesn't have his camera on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I, see. I see. He's got a special camera set up. Okay. Um, that sometimes works. <laughs> yeah. Also, a, a big, difference <laughs> uh, big difference between Surface and what we've done since then is, uh, I guess, just a lot of me on vocals. Um, and so I think we've, like when we initially put out stronger which was a, uh, the second single after surface um that that's when i first started doing like some hip hop like some rapping and um and then after that we've kind of just been trying to find a way to to make that sound work and you know it's been some experimentation but uh overall i think it's it's been doing pretty well and uh we're really excited about it but yeah you know it takes a little while to find your sound and uh, we've been working on that, and this new album is, I think it's a pretty cohesive blending of all of our ideas, and with the concept, it's it's just kind of crazy. We're really excited about it. We're excited, too. Uh, I know Josh can hear us. I think his mic is on, but we just can't see him yet. Josh, can you hear us? Hey, uh, it says my camera's on. I can uh, see you, buddy. I, I think you should be able to see me. Oh, that is weird. Look, I'll I'll show you guys my screen. Look, I cannot see Josh. Right oh, no, I, oh, I can't see you. I can't see Josh either. <laughs> Regardless, thank you for being uh, here, Josh. Uh, I'll I'll ask him this <laughs> this particular question. Uh, cool. What were the songs that you guys ruled out before you decided on Get Low? There, now I can see you, Josh. Okay, sweet. What were the songs that you guys ruled out? Like, obviously, there there had to have been like a couple other cover songs that were like in consideration before doing Little John, Get Low. By the way, yeah. But uh, what <laughs> <laughs> what what okay. were the songs you guys ruled out that you didn't pick? Uh, I mean, I, I don't. I think we're doing more just picking the ones we want to do more so than ruling out the, the ones that we don't want to do because we we have this like ongoing list of like a ton of like current songs and songs from like before that we just want to do at some point and so yeah we're just like okay let's do this one more so than like let's not do these other ones hell yeah that's cool yeah and we've also done about oh, go on. We, we've done about like probably like 30 to 50 covers on tiktok um and you know we were just kind of shooting our shot with different styles and stuff and get low just popped off so we decided to we decided to just go for it, you know. That's cool. You never you yeah, never yeah. really know like what's gonna work on TikTok. Like you just got to do a little bit of everything, and then something goes, and then all of a sudden you got like fifty thousand followers and whatnot. Hell yeah! Really, it was it was sort of like we had done all these viral current songs, and we were kind of like it was almost like an effort moment. Like let's just like do something that we think is gonna be like funny and fun that is gonna be like a throwback, and then lo and behold, everyone vibes with it and we've been riding the wave did uh did you guys bring hot sauce oh yeah i got hot sauce excellent, excellent. Hot sauce. excellent. I, I i can't do hot sauce sorry <laughs> so, so you when you go to buffalo wings you get your your wings dry no sauce <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> Dumb, and before I play, before I play Abandon Ship, which which the video is badass, and uh, I, I do want to know who, who who directed it, who came up with the concept for it. I have to set up trivia, and it's going to take me a second. So I ask of you, what is your, what movie or TV show could you guys agree on that you've seen more than anything, where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped? 
It's either Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. Star Wars or Lord, Lord of the Rings? Sure. That, Lord, of the Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Any Lord particular Rings. movie yeah. or just random? Random. You got it. We're hanging out with Designer Disguise. Please support them. Go to their Spotify. Hit that follow button! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Abandoned Ship. This little set was built for this video and everything, or is this all CGI and I'm tripping? No, no, no. We went to L.A. Uh, and uh, actually went to these sets that were already there. Um, and, like, we booked two different studios. Um, what's cool about this shot is the only animated part of it is the, uh, like, the slip space thing. Um, I guess I'm pointing to a screen. But, like, to my to the right of my body in it, like, that little slip spacey thing where you can see a C or some bullshit. Oh, right here. Um, Oh wait, no, that's Josh's little like yeah, that that's that's the only animated yeah. part. Um the rest is uh practical. It's actually there. So it's like used for like movie scenes and stuff. That's cool. Oh yeah, like like the one the uh, this is not this studio, but the other studio is a place where they worked on James and the Giant Peach, Nightmare Before Christmas, some Star Wars stuff. It's like real ass places. Um really cool. Mar Marvel stuff too. Yeah. Oh yeah. And who did who did uh, the music video? So we came up with the concept together, um, and I well I, I don't do video stuff, but I co-directed it with Jacob Hansen, and Jacob Hansen is the person who really helped bring our vision to life um, and got these you know the cool lens flares, um, got like a really cool long scope so that we could film the. Uh, the models that we had built for it. Um, those spaceships are actually models. There's one to my right over here. You can't see it. And then Josh has a couple in his room as well. That is wicked cool. Uh, so we did, filmed it Star yeah. Wars style. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it looks it looks expensive. Like it comes off looking expensive, <laughs> which is and the, and the song is is top tier to match. So, kudos. <laughs> did did you? I, I didn't hear your answer on on the Lord of the Rings particular movie, or just just make it random. Whatever, cool. random, random. Heard, uh, Lizzie. I need Josh a second. <laughs> I need I need a second, Lizzie. Go ahead and rattle off a question or two. Okay. Um. So the abandoned ships video. Uh, I'm assuming the abandoned ships going to be on elsewhere. Correct. Yes. Okay, yes. so do you have other videos planned for other tracks from the album that will kind of continue that story from Abandoned Ships? Good yes. question. Yes. So there are two other videos out now. One is Destroyer and one is Lifeline, and they both are part of the story. What's cool about the Destroyer video is that it takes place at the same time as Abandoned Ship, but it's on the bad guy ship, and it's the bad guys just being bad guys. Um, but more exciting is the Stardust video that will come out on Friday, next Friday. That is actually the end of the album. And we actually did build the set for that um, and did it in like a barn. Um, and that's actually the end of the album after they've gone and retrieved the power of the flame and defeated Vither, the big bad guy. <laughs> How do you guys it. come up with this stuff? Are you just are you just sitting around Smoke weed every day. just getting crazy stone, coming up with all <laughs> kinds of just random ideas? Like I got the I got the coolest one, man. How do you come up with all these ideas? Yeah, we're fucking nerds. <laughs> you got it right. You got it right, my guy. But that is exactly right. Like we we uh, smoked. I mean, we definitely were smoking a lot of weed and just like going into our own little. You know, it was COVID, so it's like where else were we gonna go? So we we retreated inward. And like we have characters, names, you know, the ships have names. Um, you know, we, we went deep um, in a very like, what if like, okay, what if the flame is like on in like an altar? And then it's crazy to see like the art that has been created with the help of our friends. Um, that is the actual visual representation of these like, you know, for, for lack of a better term, like ideas, you know, like it was a lot of fun. I mean, it comes across as like very, very thought out in de in depth, and it's it's super cool. Um, your trivia, gentlemen, is as follows: In Return of the King, who does Gimli agree that he is willing to die beside? Legolas. Yep. 
What'd you say? Who'd you say? Legolas. Legolas? There's a friend. Not an elf. Ah, I'm going to give it to you. That is correct. <laughs> give me a hell yeah. It was a really <laughs> long answer. But it technically says a friend, and at the bo- at the very bottom of the paragraph, it says Legolas asks him how he's going to die beside a friend. So we're going to give it to you. You do not have to do the hot sauce. I'm going to spin the wheel. Damn it! You guys have seen that movie a couple times. More than a couple. I will have to do some hot sauce. I'm going to go with uh, Japanese dragon breath today. Japanese dragon breath. So I, I, have to, I have to do some hot sauce and continue the interview, which is sometimes gets a little tough, but it's fun. Um, <laughs> so cheers. You can feel free to join me. I mean, if you brought some, feel free. There's, there's, no, there's no rules against it. Fuck it. I'll do it. All right. Hey, uh, I got the Inferno Farms. Woo! Illuminati. Oh. Mm. Hot. <laughs> Start sweet and hot. Ha! Yeah, well, that sounds worse. Fellas, <laughs> let's say let's say all of a sudden in Vogue's like, you know what? We decided we're gonna give you guys a three million dollar bonus just for no reason to each to each member of the band. All of a sudden, in Vogue just goes crazy. What are you spending the money on, as far as like a toy for yourself, uh, a something for yourself? Man, all I can think about is I'm doing, doing the more sickest art. studio. <laughs> the super yeah, like, studio? I love it. It's great. Investing in yourself. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably it'd be something like it'd be just more gear to make more art. But I mean, if we have free mill, I'd probably get a house to make the studio yeah. in. Mm hmm. Good then, answer. And then yeah, it's yeah. just the fucking pad, you know? It's a good answer. The commune. True. I would buy our, our band a van. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can get a you could get like a, a tour you could probably get a huge ass tour bus with that much money for sure. Shit. Tour bus with a studio. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The extended the extended <laughs> now cab. We're, now we're talking. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna attempt one more trivia question, but Lizzie, I need you to ask one more. I'm gonna see if I find something a little harder. Okay. Yeah. Um with your covers with Gatlow and the others kind of popping off on TikTok, um, how important do you guys take the whole social media aspect of your promotion for shows, for the album? Um, Do all of you kind of take part in it also, or is it just one of you that kind of runs everything? It's a good question. Does everybody got the login? Um, So everybody (laughs) has the login. Um, Currently, I'm like the person that talks to everybody on TikTok, um, and like Husty has the Instagram, um, and we kind of try to fill in the gaps in between so that we're all over the place. I think we've neglected Twitter and uh, YouTube to a degree, but with the sauce, it's yeah, to the chest. <laughs> I mean, if one's if one's hot and the rest aren't, I would just keep the keep the fire going. You know what I mean, like. Give a little love to the other ones, but just make sure you put a little extra coal in the one that that's on fire. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I I comment I respond to every single comment on our uh, on our TikTok, and I go to every single video that that people have used get low low for and repost it, comment and like it. Um, Kind of keep work. Stoke that flame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to put it in work, fellas. This could be the most serious question I've asked you all day. Oh, dude. Sight. Not true at all. In Return of the King, which of the hobbits looked into the Palantir? I don't even know what the Palantir is. Palantir? Oh, I think I know this one. It's which Pippin? I know this one as well. It's Pippin. Yeah. It is Pippin! 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 Mother! Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> You guys have definitely seen <laughs> Lord of the Rings a qu- quite a couple amount of times, for sure. You're talking to some nerds. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Ooh, love a tork. Whiskey caramel shot. I have to pour some whiskey in a shot glass, add some caramel to it just for no reason, and do it. Uh, let's get more serious, though. <laughs> if, if, if a band yeah. is watching, it is called Local Band Smoke. If a band is watching and strives to be in your position right now, uh, on a label, 
with with being able to have the ability to go on tour social media is blowing up what what's some a piece of advice or two you guys would give a, a smaller band or just a really bad mistake maybe designer made a couple of years ago and you'd be like don't make this mistake because we made that mistake does that make sense gosh yeah totally totally I, no. I think okay like the main thing is sticking it out um we've been a band for six years and you know like we might be catching our break now you know um be authentic to who you are and uh stick it out and you'll you'll do great if you if you're really passionate about it and work on it just keep grinding yeah. yeah and hard work is the key like it's not like you know we always uh let's see um Ooh. it's 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 sustained hard work and belief in what you're doing um and liking what you're doing like um it's not easy to do this it's not like you just like wake up one day put out a single and you're famous like it is work um it's work that you love but like you just gotta keep on keeping on if it i could add on to that um finding the right people is fucking huge you know we've ding, we've, ding. Like, we've cycled in and out of amazing people that just we didn't mesh in certain ways you know and uh like you you really got to cut out the toxic the toxicity um immediately you know and uh, like bands how do you bands how, succeed. let me let me ask you a follow-up question how like let's say let's say someone considers a member toxic how how would you suggest they go about removing that member but keeping the core intact in that process well i mean we've done it a few times um and i think it comes down to like when you add a new member that's maybe you're not sh you don't know yet um entirely like when things start to feel bad for one person um it's important to talk to your other core members and be like am i tripping is this like something that is feeling like it's stopping us from moving forward is this something we could work on? And I mean, we, with the members that have left, have always had conversations with them directly before the there was the final, like this ain't working. You know, we try to, and maybe to a fault, uh, make things work. Um, but definitely communication is key. I, I, I liken a good band to a good marriage or a good relationship, but it's with more than one person. Um, and so just keeping the communication open is, is key. Lizzie, we have time for, for final questions. What is your final question for Designer Disguise? So I know you guys said that uh, you're big nerds. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming <laughs> that's where the idea for the Kawaii tour came in. Um, we have some Kawaii fans in chat, so this is kind of for them. <laughs> Me. I'm a Kawaii metal fan. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> big time. Hell yeah. Um, I think Josh is probably the biggest anime nerd, but we've all watched uh, enough anime to, and, and we, I mean, I love the aesthetic of Koei. Like I just like cute, but also creepy mixing together. And I love the, the aesthetic of like pink and pastels, but like fucking gutturals or what are coming out of those people, you know? It is cool. It's and then usually it's like really synth, crazy synth heavy, like fast, like. Oh yeah. That. Um, I love baby metal. Fellas, final final serious question. This is a serious one. Album comes out, tour goes great, but now it's uh, it's April. What are the rest of your goals for 2023? Uh, I know there's stuff that sometimes bands cannot announce and tell us about. I'm sure you guys have a lot of stuff planned within Vogue and beyond, but what, what are you allowed to tell us about? What are your personal goals for 2023? Hello, <laughs> more music. A fuck ton more yes, music. Yeah, hell more music. We're, we're going to be writing, and uh, we want to put out just a lot more music. We got Get Low coming out um, in March or February, and a remix in March, and we just want to keep that kind of like kind of just going throughout the year. Yeah, we got plans just to just do... faster turnaround. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, there's that big gap, and right now we're just we want to keep the people. I mean, we, we enjoy creating and we want to keep the people happy. Um, but also, like, we 
we want to do what we want to do and we're excited to do get low and we're talking with in vogue about doing some other covers um and then we have a buttload of demos that we're ready to take to uh a producer and and go buck wild oh yeah i i, I have a quick follow-up a question for you jackson is uh you said you talked to in vogue for the covers does that involve them uh, going to get clearance for all of these all these tracks like let's say let's just say hypothetically you decide on a pair or more cover hypothetically does does that involve mm -hmm. invo going and getting like the licensing clearance to be able to pull that off or is it just a, a approval from them because they're your label uh so for the last however long we've just kind of been flying by the seat of our pants and do whatever we want <laughs> and now now they're like okay let's like focus focus up a little bit and so we're having a little bit more conversations it's not full approval but we are having more conversations with them about what to do and then once it comes out the um the distribution company is the person the, that's where you get like that clearance um so it's really we're coming together with them to decide what we think is going to be best cool hell yeah so I, I, hell yeah fell as i appreciate your time thank you so much josh hosty and jackson Hoosty. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on the release dropping in a week. Stay safe on the road. Yeah, thank you. Maybe in like six or seven months, we can do some form of a follow-up interview, see how life's been, see, just chit chat a little bit more, talk about new things coming out. Uh, Hell yeah. yeah. Fellas, I appreciate it so much. Stay safe. Thank you for being here. Designer Disguise! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Later.